What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. We are down here, honey. We don't have anything to talk about. Nothing. I like literally, I was like, I don't have anything to talk about. It's like, it's nothing I want to talk about. So we are going to fly by the seat of our pants today. So you know what we're about to do, right? I hope she's paying attention. You're not. No. Not paying attention at all. Girl. So let's go to a Starbucks. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. So we listen to Beyonce. You know what it is. Big business. Hey, this CD, album, MP4, 3, whatever the damn format. It is really, really good. Hit it with the rap. She is giving you every like era of music that she was not able to contribute to and contributed to it. That's how I feel about this album. It really takes me on like a like a history <laughs> of of music since I have been, you know, the only thing. Well, let me see. I'm trying to think. The only thing she kind of she didn't. Yeah, she did a little. She did a little. She had Grace Jones in there. Yeah, she did. She's. This is a really good album. I'm really enjoying it. Um, you know, and I stay on one song like I'm on America Has a Problem now. America has a problem. I love the way the people, the lady, is that a lady? America. America, America has, has a problem. <laughs> Come on, you better get, you better put your damn cardboard down. I get to pop it. This is what it reminds me of. Hey! Ah! Ah! Hey, you got that B for me. Hey! It's everything. Yes, good. Uh, may I have a grande hot dirty chai double with oat milk and two pumps of brown sugar, please? Unfortunately, we are all out of the brown sugar. Can I have cinnamon dolce instead? Yes, of course. How many pumps of cinnamon dolce? Two. And what size would you like this? Grande. Okay, so I have a grande chai tea latte with two double sauce, with two pumps of the cinnamon dolce, and made with oat milk. Is that correct? At 180 degrees, please. And 180 degrees. You got it? Yeah, and that's it. All right. So, 845. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't have nothing to talk about. I know a lot of y'all are going back and watching that um, Ari Spears video. Y'all are horrible. Everybody going to hell. He got, he had to. Let me tell you something. We needed to take that nigga to the graveyard. I'm sorry. Like that. What are you looking forward to? Though? I am looking forward to the men. I am looking forward to the reads. <laughs> The hell freeze, the death freeze. I'm ready to go to the cemetery, the health clinic. I'm ready to get into some things. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You, these dudes don't get to. Girl, who is this? Carrie Hilson, girl, bye. What the hell? Absolutely. How do I go back and say never again, girl? Aries needed to visit the mortuary, okay? Yes, muerte, morte, finito. Yes. He needed to be sent to the gods. He did. It's just jokes, right? It's just jokes. And T with Dre says something. Hold on. He basically said that y'all understand. Now y'all understand when jokes go too far y'all get it now because it's lizzo but y'all didn't understand why will smith got up and slapped that motherfucker you didn't get it you didn't get it then oh but now it's okay for his that he needs to get dragged 
But he do need to get dragged. Because you don't get to sit up there. <laughs> I'm not going to start again. Because, girl. But you can't sit up there and look like that. Baby, when Bondi said it looked like his eyes were sliding off his face. Oh, my God. Somebody said it looked like he swallowed a cow. I think that was 50 G. I said, oh, they tearing his ass up. Oh, <laughs> he deserved it because y'all just don't get to sit up there and talk mess. So you're going to get the reads. You're going to get the health reads. You're going to get the weight reads. You're going to get the eyesight reads. You're going to get all of this work. I don't even have my money out. You're going to get all this work. Okay. I should use my um stars. Oh, let me tell you something. I went and tried. I tried to do. um. I tried to do um, my birthday. It's only the day of your birthday. I was like, damn. And I had the email too. It was in there. The email was in there too. And it was like, and I read, you know, I had to scroll down to the bottom and read the fine print girl. And um, they fixed the, did they fix the card reader? Mm -mm, I still broke. They tried to. Good, how are you? Thank you. All right, thank you. Oh, took my own damn card, girl. <laughs> Get my damn. Should I leave my ears out? Absolutely not. I didn't even get to taste it. They don't give you a stopper unless you ask now. Everybody, everybody want to be, um, everybody want to be, um, zero waste now. Like, should have been that. Should have been that. It should have been that. Do you think the United States <laughs> is a failed experiment? Do you think you've been sold a bill of goods? Is that what they, is that the phrase? Is that how you say it? You've been sold a bill of goods. What does that mean? Let's look it up. Lady, calm down. Just calm down. You're not going to move no faster. Nobody's going to move any faster. We all together in this. Okay. You need to get to where you're going, sweetie. Sweetie. She pulling up. But she got beef with somebody. Acting wet. We're gonna look it up. Bill of goods. Don't let me forget. Because you know I will feel I forget. Okay, Drake. How did Carrie Hilson come on after Beyonce? Y'all trying to be funny. That, I was like, who is what is that voice? I'm sorry. Oof. I've I've no no shade. I've never been like a fan. I've never been a fan. Are you going to go school bus? Go ahead, school bus. Come on, because you got the kids. And you look like you got an attitude. I don't want him, I want him to have a wonderful day. Y'all, listen, you're just riding with me at this point. Because I honestly don't have anything to talk about. But I do know that whoop de bam needed to be dragged through the cemetery okay buried how do you say um <laughs> how do you say when you uh pull them back up exhumed is that what you say is that a word is that the word you are we he been exhumed dragged through the cemetery buried again exhumed <laughs> dug up girl he deserved it it's just jokes right we all we all comedians down here we we just joking so you're going to get all the reads, poo All of them. All of them. Take this work. Since you want to give it out. That, But it's like the lack of... It's like... It's like... it's. I don't know if it's a... It's not a lack of awareness. It's audacity. It is it's straight up audacity. Because you know 
Well, you know, a lot of people have body dysmorphia and they might not see what we see. But I feel like if we're all in unison saying something, some some ain't right. <laughs> some ain't right. We all saying the same thing. And then like, that's the point. It's like, okay, you know, you look like this. You see yourself. And I'm thinking to myself, maybe he don't. Because ain't no way you could sit your ass up there and and say the words that are coming out of your mouth if unless you were audacious. And it's like you have really been socialized to understand that your ass can get women by having a little money, having a little charisma, make cracking a little joke. You know what I'm saying? And so you know that because women do do that. How many women, beautiful women, do we see with ugly ass? And we say, oh, we know that it's probably financing the relationship. We know what it is. Your finances are your commodity. Her beauty is her commodity. What, what are you? And y'all know. When you ugly and have money, you know, because you see the fine niggas, broke fine niggas, right? Who are getting the girls and you're pissed because that nigga is broke and you have to have the money to get the b- <laughs> So dirty. Yes. She Did y'all see her VMA um, performance? I... <laughs> Y'all might not like what I'm going to say about Nikki's VMA performance. I didn't watch it. Okay, I'm going to say that. I didn't watch it, so I don't, I don't have any critique of the performance. It was the look that I had a critique on, you know. Okay, a bill of goods. See, I almost forgot. I had the lollipop gilled up. Because they said the baby, um, he was somewhere. And um, he didn't sell enough, enough tickets. And so they had to cancel the show. And I was like, oh, look at the Lollipop Guild. Is the Lollipop Guild breaking down? But the people said that's not really, like, it doesn't really have anything to do with him. Bill of Goods. Bill of Goods saying. Okay, sold a bill of goods means to make someone believe a lie. Often people use this expression when someone has made a promise that he or she cannot keep despite other people believing the promise. You've been sold a bill of goods. A bill of goods. Like the bill, you've only been given the bill, but you don't have the goods. Yes, a consignment of merchandise. Something intentionally misrepresented, something passed off in a in a deception or fraud often used in the phrase, sell a bill of goods. Okay. All right. So let's go to the blogs, honey, and see what's happening. I'm trying to hear what song's coming up next. Judge checks Tyrese for looking off into space while he discussed his daughter's his daughter orders him to pay $10,000 in monthly child support. I'm talking to you. Oh. Right now, it looks up to both of you. Mr. Gibson, man, I'm talking to you. This is real. Okay? There's no emotion. There's no, there's no emotion there. It's like, that's why everything, when he gets up on the thing, you have to take it with a grain of salt because it's a, a it's a, like a attention. It's like, I'm seeking attention. I've said it before. Bow Wow and Tyrese, they are energy vampires. Like they do stuff for, to feed, to feed. And so it's not real, like it's not authentic. So when somebody is talking to you about your child and taking care of your child, you like, he said, Mr. Gibson, I'm talking to you about your child. Listen. What's up to both of you? Mr. Gibson, man, I'm talking to you. This is real. Okay? This is real. Okay? 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 Okay?
real. Okay? I'm talking about your kid and wandering off into space, man. Because it's not about him. I want you both to love your kid, and I want you both to tell your kid to love the other parent. He don't want to hear it. He don't give a damn. Looks like Tyrese will pay $10,000 instead of $20,000. Neighbors, is that a fair amount? Who gives a damn? This is what happens. I, I mean, like, pay. I don't understand. Like, I don't even understand why you ask people, is that a fair amount? It doesn't have anything to do with you. What the people come up with is what the people come up with based on what was. You are in no position to tell somebody what's enough and not enough for them. I, I feel like you shouldn't, especially when it comes to ch child support. Who gives if it's what do you t because you're able to raise a child on whatever, however much you're raising your child on doesn't mean that other people don't need more or don't require more to raise their kids. Look at all the yeast in the uh, field. Let's see. I'll take a picture of them so you guys can see how many of them are there. All right, let's see. I'll show you guys on the thing. Oh, so back to Tyrese. Yeah, um, you know what it is, I guess, whatever. That was the first story that came up. I said we don't have anything to talk about. So we're just going to roll the dice, honey. We're going to roll the dice. Um, Bonnie Bella's parents are sending her off to kindergarten. Look at Bonnie Bella. She looked just like Stevie J. Um, Y'all here for it. MIA threatens to leak Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj collabs after waiting two years. Coming soon, I promise. I had to wait two years for the Doja Cat verse. Then a Nicki one. Then a never mind. If Mata isn't out September, I will leak it myself. Shout out to MIA. She got a she got a song with um Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj. Okay. All right, let's see what else is going on. Y'all agree Nicole Brown Simpson's sister says it was lame of Chris Rock to compare his Oscar slap to Nicole's murder. Lacks logic and basic connection. They really hitting y'all with the like basic connection the device is the device it lacks connection because the device it's like you could put the charger on a, a faulty device it's not going to really give that much charge you know because the device is not working the charger is fine it lacks logic and basic connection girl they be getting y'all. They be getting y'all. Neighbors, we previously reported that Chris Rock compared his Oscar slap to the murder of Nicole Brown Simpson. For those that need a refresher, Chris was asked to host the 2023 show. And his response was, returning to that stage would be like Nicole Simpson returning to the diner she visited before she was murdered. Well, Nicole's sister, Tanya Brown, is clapping back at Chris and says, the joke was lame as hell. According to TMZ, she says, equating getting slapped at the Oscars to a gruesome double homicide is apples to oranges. So she thinks it's lacking in logic and basic connection. If you can recall, a tacky joke is what got Chris popped in the first place. Tanya says his attempt at humor was distasteful, to say the least. Which it just validates that he was taking another distasteful joke on the stage. Y'all cannot say the things y'all be saying. The shit don't be funny. And the things that you're connecting it to is like, no, it's too much to compare what happened to you to a murder like girl girl are you okay you were traumatized i'm sure you were embarrassed i'm sure your ego was bruised i'm sure because you didn't get punched you got slapped because you know what they say bitches get slapped <laughs> Actually, I actually don't like parking here. I am going to move. 
because I don't like the way that man came around the corner like that. I don't like the way he came around. I, I feel like I can't have my this obstructed. You know what I'm saying? I can't have my view obstructed from this thing from over here, even though it helps with the shade. No, absolutely not. Yeah, your jokes are not funny. It's just proof. I mean, some jokes are not funny. Some jokes are not funny. Some jokes are not funny. And it's like, are, are you? I don't know. Maybe he thinks he can talk about white women like that. Um, <laughs> um, because he's dating a white woman. Maybe that's, maybe that's the motivation because you know, the people, I wonder how much backlash he's going to get for, for this. Cause you know, they'll pile it. They will pile it on a black man makes a joke about a, and then compares it to his incident. Yeah. Like I said, I know it was probably humiliating and your ego was bruised and all of that good stuff, but girl, you compare it to a murder? Okay, girl. It says, Masika sues Hazel E. and Zeus Net Network over sexual battery and fraud claims. Wants six million dollars. It says, it looks like Masika and Hazel E.'s drama is far from over. According to TMZ, Masika is stating... Masika is taking Hazel E and Zeus Network to court. Masika claims she was attacked during a sit-down conversation. I thought, I thought, she, I thought she, because I thought Hazel Hazel E was pregnant. Wasn't she pregnant at the time? Okay, let me see. Okay. She said, per the report, the incident went down August 2020 when Masika agreed to sit down with Hazel E to hash out rumors Hazel allegedly spread about her. If you can recall, Masika, who came to the conversation with a wig, became wigless at some point. Hazel took credit for the snatching. Masika's attorney demanded Zeus not air or edit any footage of the assault, but the footage came out anyway. Masika is suing for sexual battery fraud and wants six million in damages oh it was one of her friends right it was one of her friends yeah because i was like i thought hazel was pregnant hazel lee girl go get as much as you can i guess i don't know she was embarrassed embarrassed it was embarrassing I mean, what did you go on there for? Like, I, what did you go on there for to, what did you think that was going to actually be solved or resolved? Like, girl, I guess she's like, let's put some real dollars to this. Let's see. Shout out to Shakari Richardson. Shakari Richardson beats champion Elaine Thomas Hera to win the women's 100 meter at the Luzerne Athletics Meet in 11.29 seconds. Um, and then. Celera Barnes was third in 1140. She said, y'all hate me, win or lose. I hate that she feels like people hate her. That sucks. Let's see what else. I mean, Serena, Ed Serena uh, Williams advances in the U.S. Open. Uh, Fulton County DA Fannie Willis speaks on using rap lyrics to indict another gang if you decide to admit your crimes over a beat, I'm going to use it. Thank you. Thank you. However, you do not get to uh, commit crime. Brag on it, which you do that for a form of intimidation and to further the game and not be held responsible. One of the lyrics in, used in this indictment, just one of the lyrics is me and my crew striking out, striking in all black. Send me the drop. We'll kick in the house. If we steal a car, we're going to take off the tag. Well, they kick it indoors, committing home invasions. Uh, and now I'm using those lyrics that they're admitting to doing that. I'm going to continue to do that. People can continue to be angry about it. Um, I have some legal advice. Don't confess to crimes on rap lyrics if you do not want them used, or at least get out of my account. If you decide to admit your crimes over a beat, I'm going to use it. We are working to... You know, you know how I feel. I'm right along with her, Fanny. Fanny Willis. I'm right along with Fanny. Um, Jay-Z, Kelly Rowland, Robin Thicke. 
they don't want the rap lyrics used against the people. It, it's almost as though it's like it's taking no snitching to another level. I think the no snitching rule within communities that use that rule are usually terrorized by, you know, young black men. Ooh, I don't even want to talk about a child. I, I have nothing to do with it. I'm not going to say nothing about it. If you rapping over a beat, and you talking about the crimes that you're committing as a way to intimidate other people, you're going down. You're going down, bro. You're going down, period. <laughs> Somebody said, these rappers better start screaming on the beat, allegedly, after every, I did this and that and to so-and-so. <laughs> Did it happen? Monique, don't say, did it happen? Monique Slaughter. I've been wondering how this law would apply in a scenario such as Ye offering to pop out the bushes with Pusha T to kill your mans in them. Did it happen? Was a crime committed that aligns with those lyrics? Maybe you're trying to be funny and it just flew past me. Because girl, what? That's dumb. You sound dumb. Uh, what are you? I don't get it. Are you trying to be funny? I guess. Oh, I was telling y'all about Nicki Minaj. I just saw another picture of her. Her outfit. I know you're probably like, girl, did you forget? No. Okay, I'm back. Um, I said that it reminded me of, you know, how Wendy Williams, the those um pictures that came out about with Wendy Williams, um, when she was at the liquor store at the corner store. <laughs> I said that Wendy just needs some compression tights. She just needs um her makeup cleaned up. She needs a hug, a little bit of love, and some fucking money. She'll be all right. You know, they say you're not ugly, you just broke, right? She's looking like that. She don't have her money. They, they, they have her money all snatched up over there. But when I saw Nicki Minaj on, on the stage with, her, with that outfit, it reminded me of, like, a woman wandering around on the streets of New York trying to make her way to the corner store and the paps are snapping pictures of her. That's what it gave me. I was like, oh, Nikki. That's what it was giving me. I didn't see the full performance. You know, I just saw the little clips or whatever, small clips, but it was giving me, you know, I'm walking around aim aimlessly, you know, talking, muttering to myself under my breath. I am, the paps are on me. Did she have contact lenses in? Or was that just me? I felt like she had contact lenses in. But it was a lot. She looked like, she looked like, like, um, like a, a mascot for like, um, what is it? My Little Pony. Y'all remember My Little Pony? That's what it was giving me. Like, not My Little Pony. What's the other one? What's the other one? What's the other one? Rainbow Bright. That's what it was giving me. It was giving me rainbow bright. Pink. She's the pink rainbow bright. It was. It wasn't even giving Barbie. I don't know what's happening, but it was just, I was like, okay. <sighs> That's what it was giving me, Wendy Williams. It was giving me Wendy Williams walking aimless, aimlessly to the corner store. What happened? Okay, what else? Um... It's getting messy. Martel Holt drops a recording of his kids sharing conversations that he had with their mom, Melody. She said she also said that you keep getting other girls pregnant. It's the truth. So we supposed to lie to the children so they grow up and resent you for not arming them with the truth. Tell your children the age appropriate truth. And the oldest daughter is old enough. How old is she? She's old enough. Yes, your father was out. Your father did not honor our relationship and went out and created another baby. That's where your brother was Maddox Knox. That's where your brother comes from. Because and that's why me and your dad aren't together. Right? Martel's upset because he um you know, Melody is supposed to just honor and protect his image. I think a lot of women have realized um, playing the bigger person, 
trying to protect the image of the man for the children, it doesn't serve anyone. It actually does a disservice to the children because you're not honest with them about who their father is. Yes, let them experience their father on their own. But if they start asking questions, tell the goddamn truth. You don't have to tell the truth as you would tell an adult. You could tell the child the age appropriate truth. Y'all are going to get enough of lying to your children to protect someone's image. Oh, we don't, don't say, they're not supposed to say anything. Don't say anything to the kids about why. Are you ashamed? Are you ashamed? What, if you are unable to share your activities with your children, are you ashamed of them? They want to know why mommy and daddy aren't together because he's out making babies with people. If he hadn't made a baby, your mommy and daddy would probably still be together. Yeah, just arguing all the time until they get tired. But we're not protecting people's images. You're you are arming your children with the truth. When you lie to the to your children, you leave them unprotected. You leave them without the armor of truth. Please stop lying to your children to protect someone's image. You don't have to speak badly. Tell the truth. If the truth is bitter, that's it. That's life. It's life. It's life. And y'all also got to get out of telling people things like like relationships last forever. No, I honestly think a, a lot of the times, I mean, I guess family wouldn't mean anything, but I think a lot of the times people come together to bring people into the world. It doesn't mean that, and then watch them grow up. And then as they grow up and become independent, then those, uh, those two people that came together to create the child can go off to have other experiences. But I guess, you know, that wouldn't be like, you know, to keep family together or the idea of family. But the truth is some people just come together to create however many children and then it's it's not meant to last forever. That's like, stop lying. Just stop lying to your children. Stop lying about the just the way that relationships work as a whole. Just be honest and realistic. And you could keep it age appropriate. What'd she say? You asked her any questions. She just came out and just told Mom, she like she like sits down and talks to us separately, and then we, she also gives us some therapy, and she talks to us and tells us how we feel about like about two being in different houses and how we've been and stuff like that. Doing what else? You getting the girls pregnant? You are. Like, I don't understand it. What is she supposed to do? I'm not protecting your image. I no longer have an obligation to do anything for you. You just another man on the street that I had some children with because you treated me like a woman, just a random woman off the street. I'm telling you, as soon as Martel cheated, as soon as your spouse cheats on you, the contract that you signed for the marriage, the license, it's null and void. It's null and void. Now you have to file for divorce. It's null and void. You have to make it official. But we're not going to hold people because the divorce hasn't been filed or finalized or whatever. But we had a contract and you defaulted on the contract. So whatever I do afterwards... I'm, you know, I'm not held to any contractual obligation here because you broke the contract. So you just another nigga. So guess what? I don't owe you protection from how your children view you. If they ask a question, I am going to tell the age appropriate truth. And if you don't like the way the truth sounds, you shouldn't have done what you did. If you feel like your child is going to look at you in a certain kind of way because you are a dishonorable man, 
not a man of his word? You lack integrity and self-control? Are those character traits that you don't want your son or daughters to see in you? But they exist. So not, why not tell them the truth? You don't like it? You don't like how you're portrayed? You don't like how you look? Girl, you get the fuck out of here, Martell Holt. Don't protect these niggas. Fuck these niggas. I, I, I promise you. Because how, how, what kind of mind fuck is that to where you get, you are allowed to publicly humiliate me, but I have to make sure your image is maintained for these children. Girl, what I look like, just live a whole fucking lie. Just get, just keep the lie up. No, you don't get my protection of lying and wearing a mask for you anymore. No, absolutely. You don't get the protection of a wife. Are you crazy? Absolutely not. I'm going to tell them who you are, who you really are. I'm going to tell them you've been homophobic. Now I'm questioning you. Y'all need to stop sleeping with homophobic people. I'm telling you, when I realized my children's father was homophobic, I was like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely. This is not going to last long. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. This ain't going to last long. Amongst other things, amongst other things, on top of everything, you're a whole black ass misogynist, homophobic, just every, every single thing about a in socialized ass. And you think I'm supposed to protect your image? Absolutely not. When my kids asked me, I used to say as they grow, as they got older, but when they were little, we just didn't match. We just didn't match. We just didn't match. We just didn't match. Then as they got older, yes, I start I started it to explain. Do you understand how why I'm upset? Oh yes, let me explain to you how why I feel the way about your father. Because this is how your father treated me. Right. That's why we're not together. Oh, okay, I get it now. My, my I might say and listen, and I'm not and I'm not the one. I don't give a damn, baby. You shouldn't say nothing bad about the, the child's father. For what? Let them have their own relationship. I have a right to, st if I want to cut somebody out about the way I was treated and say what the real is, I'm telling them, girl. But you see, Martell is recording. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you how, how all of that is translating with your children. One, you are recording them right? And now you are sharing these recordings and violating your child's privacy. If I was a judge, I would take custody from you. I sure would. Because you are now, as your role as a parent is to protect and make sure your children survive until they're mature enough, and you're out here recording your daughter and then re sharing it, so that it can in turn be shared with millions of people. Sir, you're not operating from a place of integrity. You're not operating from a place of protection. You're not protecting your kids this way by releasing recordings of them and violating their privacy. I'm taking custody from you because you obviously are not thinking. Your emotional codependent enmeshed ass is so worried about Melody that in the process of quote unquote exposing Melody for telling her children the truth about you, you left your daughter unprotected, sir. And when your daughter gets old enough to put two and two together and realize, God damn it, my parents used me as a fucking pawn. They are going to turn their backs on you. They are going to resent you. And I'm talking to Melody too. Stop using your children as pawns. But Martel releasing a recording of his daughter, you are out of order. Out of order. So you need a judge to bring the shit back to order and adjust that custody. Because you're obviously not regulated enough to raise children to where you're now not protecting your daughter in order to use and weaponize 
what she said to you against her mother. You're you're out of order. Out of order. I'm I'm about to leave now. I gotta go. You saw you heard my alarm. Martel is out of order, child. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Tell your children the truth. Stop wearing the mask for these niggas. Pull their fucking mask off like you in a Scooby-Doo mystery, bitch. Pull their mask off. Pull it off and show the old man, old man Ned down at the barn. Yeah, he's the goddamn villain. You goddamn right. Just pull their motherfucking mask off. Shit. Tell your children the age-appropriate truth. Arm your children with the truth. Don't have your children out here unprotected where their daddies is releasing goddamn recordings of them and trying to use it as weapons against their mothers. Martel ought to be ashamed of himself. Raggedy-ass bastard. Anyways, y'all, take care of each other and protect your energy. Peace.